back with you braided braiding supply. I just love making cinches this time of the year. And one of the popular cinches is doing a two-tone cinch, but people are having difficulty with it. So I'm going to show you just how easy it is to string two colors for your cinch. First I'm going to do the 17 strand cinch, and then I'm going to do the 19 strand cinch. So follow along and see just how easy it is. So here I have strung my two colors, part of it anyway, and I started with this lark's head knot, and you'll notice I have four lark's head knots as opposed to three because I have gone on each side of the nipple and I wanted to end out here and here and have four lark's head knots here and four here so that I had seven cords here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have to do it that way so that your lark's head knots all end up even. And then I added the cream colored and I did three lark's head knots so basically uh, you want to make sure that you do it so that one ends here and one ends here so here's my first one I went down on the other side of the nipple back up and back back and forth to here and then here I followed through and went here and down and back and ended here so that's how you want it to end then when you start with your second color you're going to want to pick up and start on this side. So this, this one will just get buried or we're incorporated in. It just really doesn't count as a strand. You're going to have to get rid of that some way, either unraveling it or um, un unweaving it and using it as your two-ply or burying it on the other side up underneath in here someplace. So I did the three larks had not, so see how many cords I ended up with. I have one, two, three, four, five, and I ended here. And that's good because I will be using this when I untwist it as my seam two ply to do my half hitches across. So then when I go to string the other side, I will have five here. So I'll have five and seven and five, which makes 17. If you want less colors, then you have to adjust it, but you always want to try and make it so that your um, lark's head knots matches. You wouldn't want to have four at this end and three at this end, so, end, so doing it that way. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to go ahead and string the other one and show you then how the 19 strand just um, is pretty much the same. So here is the finished cinch strung. Let me just point out that while it is a 17 strand, I have one, two, three, four, five, seven here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and five here, one, two, three, four, five, for 17. Instead of having nine lurks head knots like in the video, you have 10. And that's because these basically are just. Um, these aren't part of the whole cinch. These are the parts that will be um, worked in by using it as a two-ply or buried. So the important point is, is that you want to always have opposite ends. These will be the main working cords that you're going to do your half hitch across with. You're going to untwist it and half hitch across with all four one at a time just as in the video and incorporate these into using them as part of your two ply but if you are not going to and you want to bring it down and cover it all the way because once you start to do a two ply design you can get that totally covered enough that it will be secure but you want to make sure that you're going to untwist it because it's going to lay nice and firm around that eight ply as opposed to taking this and leaving it like that and trying to wrap your two ply. It just works better if you undo it like that and then when you're doing your two ply across that can get incorporated in. So again notice there's an end here and an end here, you're here and here and here and here and it needs to be that arranged that way to make it easier to work with. 
So again, there are 10 lark's head knots at each end. I've got four of the colors and three and three and three and three of the natural. So this is the 17 strand. Now I'm gonna show you the 19 strand cinch, how to string it. So here is the 19 strand cinch strung. And so I've gone back and I've got three lark's head knots of the candy stripe at each end. And I went over the nipple this time. And so there's only one, two, three, four, five of those. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these and seven of these, which makes a 19 strand. And notice you'll have, instead of the original nine lark's heads that I show on the video, in the kit, um, you have 10, um, 11, I'm sorry, you have 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and they're all equal. Now really, if you wanted this to be wider, more in the middle, and you wanted to keep the three lurks head knots, you could bring this end down and run it up through your Lark's head knot and around the back and bring it up and then work off that and then eliminate one of these which would make this a little bit wider. It would give you the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eliminate one on each side which would um, still give you the 19 strand, but it would make this wider in the middle. You've just eliminated one of these and added these. But you want to make sure that your Lark's head knots, you know, you wouldn't want to go back up here and have four here and four here. You want it all to be equal looking. Um, so that's the easiest way to string for your 19 strand cinch. Mm -hmm.